point. <laughs> when I answer people on the phone or I have to tell, tell people my last name, I just automatically spell it out. <laughs> All right, so Caleb Swartz. Yep. Uh, you were third today? Third overall today, third, Okay, yes. so how did it play out for you? Um, First time here, never really ridden a whole lot in this area. I did like Bear Creek Nationals in 2014, but yeah, I knew it was going to be hard. knew there was going to be some fast guys and basically had the plan of riding with Carrie and Carson all day um, and stick to those wheels and it's pretty much exactly what happened. Um, I made some moves here and there, trying to turn the screws a little bit and trim down the group and Carson threw down plenty, Kerry threw down plenty, and we were all hurting at points. And then last five, eight miles, I was definitely hanging on, came back once, um, caught back up, and tried to get back in the mix, recover for the sprint, but definitely didn't have the gas to kick it up and over the wood chip hill coming into the end here. All right, so you guys are all pretty much together. Yeah, so. pretty much one, two, three. What's, what's you know, the GC separation? Um, so because of the enduro time bonuses, I'm actually leading now, and Carrie's in second, and I and Carson's in third. Even though Carson won, Carrie was second, and I was third. Okay. So yeah. It's all very confusing for us. So a little I'm bit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're also learning here, but yeah, we came. We all came in. I mean, by after the by the time we were done across the line, we were. Okay, so you're you're wheel. in the yellow jersey. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. what's your plan to defend that uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week? Um, keep it smooth, keep it consistent, conserve matches, um, minimize mistakes, and kind of ride into the week. And everything else is new to me. It's new to Carson too. Carries the kind of the veteran here, um, so kind of going to come down to seeing, seeing how the different days shake out and what happens to who and when, and um, trying to trying to just be smooth and consistent and yeah. See how long it goes. <laughs> right. What's what's your stage race experience? What, have you done a bunch of them? Um, not really. This might be my second. <laughs> um, what might be your first? <laughs> the first one. Well, the first one was a UCI stage race in Montana in 2019. Okay. Um, so that was a little different. And beyond that, I've definitely done done some pretty heavy race blocks and especially in Europe where you're doing back to back to back days and stuff but never an official stage race like this with a GC. So um, what, what is your racing background? What's what's kind of your focus? So cycle cross and mountain biking pretty much equally. Um, a little more cross leaning now but really I started racing cross in 2008, mountain in 2009. Um, I started racing like as elite or professional. How old were you in 2008? I was nine. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm 22, I'll turn 23 in July. Um, so I started racing professionally elite at the elite level in 20, fall of 2017. Um, doing it ever since for cross, cross and mountain. So yeah, big cross guy too. So. <laughs> All right, well I'm psyched to see what happens this week. Thank Thanks you very a lot. much. Appreciate Thanks. it.